You get in your car, the parking brake is engaged, and when you put it in drive so you can leave, you disengage that parking brake, and it appears to be disengaged, but it is not because the vehicle isn't moving forward, and if you've been there, it's definitely an annoying situation. So what we have here are typical symptoms of a stuck parking brake, but it could be caused by multiple different areas in this system. And until we figure it out, the truck isn't going anywhere. So let's take things apart and figure out what failed and how we can fix it. The parking brake system on most vehicles is actually fairly simple. So I have a simplified diagram here so we can understand what's happening. You have a pedal and I'm actually, I'm demonstrating this with our particular truck in mind, but instead of a pedal, you could have a lever or even a button that you pull or push for electronic parking brakes. But for us, we have a lever. They all do the same thing. They pull on a cable and that cable has a couple points that it connects at because it's not just one cable, it's usually multiple. So it goes all the way back to where it splits to the two wheels. Okay, this is one wheel, this is another wheel. And then that cable actuates a little lever. In our case, there are parking brake shoes in there which spread inside of the drum or the hat of the rotor and stop the rotor from spinning, therefore stop the vehicle. So you have the lever that actuates it, you have the cables that transmits that movement, and then you have the shoes and the hardware that actually does the stopping. So really three main items in total. Now I know on electronic parking brakes, there's no cable, it's electronically operated through wires, but you still have something that actuates it, something that transmits that signal, wires, and then the caliper, which is what does the locking. So really it's kind of the same thing overall. And this is what we're gonna to have to dig into to find out where our issue lies. This being a truck, we can see all the cables underneath. That one up there is the one that connects everything else to the pedal assembly, which we indirectly tested earlier when I was applying the parking brake and disengaging it. Everything seemed to work fine. The pedal went down smoothly with the right amount of resistance. It came back up. It wasn't all free floating or was getting stuck in any way. So that checks out good for us and therefore this cable does as well. The center cable that is connected to that, well, it can't get stuck on anything, especially in this case where it's kind of just a cable out in the open here. It's not going through any sheathing or any brackets of any sort, it's just here. So the most it could do is rust and snap off, but that's clearly not the case. This cable looks great for us and so does that one. So we need to move further back and see where the cable split off into two because we might find some interesting uh, information there that'll lead us to our problem. Following the center cable along, you'll see where it connects to the splitter here, the equalizer, that connects the two rear cables to that center cable. And in this case, we actually have a long threaded rod in the middle. That's an adjustment and some vehicles have it, some vehicles don't, this one happens to have it. So you can tighten the slack on the parking brake cables or give them some slack if you need to take a cable out and service it. But the adjuster here or even the equalizer isn't gonna make the parking brake be stuck or not work at all. It's just going to prevent it from being adjusted or sitting evenly. So we have to keep going further back where these cables go into their sheathing. We can see both cables. They keep going, keep going. And well, what do we have here? That is a wide open area for rust to build up because of water getting into the sheathing. And although this right here isn't the actual cable, this is just a piece of wound up metal protecting the cable and guiding it but water still gets in here. This is the only waterproof layer. That is obviously not waterproof. So when that happens, it swells up, it stops the cable from moving, and especially since this is aiming down, water, as you drive, will shoot in here, go down the cable, and pool up at the bottom. So we actually could have a lot more damage in here that we can't see just because of this cut. And it's not just this one, if I turn the cable around right here where it went through this bracket, another cut and that's just wear from the metal bracket over time. We obviously have to address this, but let's keep going further to make sure nothing else is bound up behind the wheel.
I got everything taken apart so we can inspect the parking brake shoes, their hardware, and make sure everything works properly. And at first glance, I see new parking brake shoes here. Not new hardware, but that's okay because you don't always need to replace it, but new shoes and prying on this lever at the top here, which is what actually expands the shoes when you apply the parking brake, it seems to be moving perfectly fine. So it's almost as if somebody replaced these shoes because the old ones were worn out from the parking brake being stuck, but they didn't actually fix the problem because it's still getting stuck because these weren't the problems to begin with or even this lever here, it was our cable. So we've narrowed it down to the cable now and we've double checked everything and it's important to actually do the same on the other side, even if you think it's good double check it because you never know and you always want to do these in pairs left and right which by the way you can easily get from uh, one Auto with a kit that gives you everything you need to replace this so at this point I have my cables and I know for sure that the cables is what I want to replace and not anything else especially since I have well brand new shoes here that somebody installed trying to fix this issue so let's get these cables in and see how our truck stops well not stops but stays stopped after those are in just a quick reminder to use your parking brake as frequently as you can because although you might think, okay, it's gonna wear out if I use it, yes, but it's going to take so much longer to get to that point compared to if you weren't using it at all and then the parking brake cable's just sitting there doing nothing, collecting moisture, debris, salt. If you live in a climate that uses salt on the road in the winter, that's gonna get in there and corrode it really fast but using it makes it move back and forth and that's gonna keep it nice and free for a long time. Well, we got everything replaced, put in drive, take the parking brake off, let off the brake, and it rolls without any throttle applied, it's just in drive, so we fixed the issue, no more dragging parking brake. 